Clench your butt cheeks, drop a thumbs up, and don't just a pump on okay? Because coming in at our number 12 spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new rumor about the PlayStation 6. Guys, we cover news every single day, so hit the subscribe bell because rumor PlayStation 6 console design will be led by PlayStation 5 Mark Cerny. One in the comments if you remember, because last time when he revealed the PlayStation 5, he was dead ass asking for everybody's ear hole pictures. I mean, that was such a brand yeah. moment. Is he gonna be asking for feed pics this time? We're gonna find out because several rumors about the PlayStation 6 console design being headed by Mark Cerny have been swirling around these past two weeks and most of these rumblings and you, you guys know. And Sony did officially confirm that we're not gonna be seeing PlayStation 6 before 2027. It's gonna be happening in five years from now and looks like that mark is definitely gonna be asking for feed pay so uh, we, we, we'd love to see it but check this out guys coming in at our number 11 spot y'all are not ready for this one okay so shout out to the homie jack frax for actually making a video on this situation because we got this finals gameplay and this has destruction you guys can see i mean damn son damn okay because this is what Battlefield 2042 should have been. Right now, a lot of people are saying that Battlefield 2042 is looking good. But guys, this game has been made by indie devs. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I, I just cannot even believe it. I, I just cannot even compute the fact that this game is a Call of Duty and Battlefield clone, right? In a good way. I'm saying that in a good way. I'm getting massive Fortnite vibes, massive Call of Duty. Right here, I'm getting like Battlefield vibes as well. And this game is just looking insane. Graphically speaking, it feels like that this game has a soul. Meanwhile, you, we already know the Call of Duty devs, they need to fix the Trello board. Uh, those of you that do not know, the Trello board is apparently where they announce uh, what types of fixes Call of Duty games gonna get and even that needs a fix. I mean damn man I just cannot even compute that guys Activision multi-billion dollar company. They need to fix their their Trello board, okay? <laughs> And Bruh. we got this game, I mean, finally something is looking good, it's called The Finals. And the beta is dropping tomorrow, first I believe, on PC. It's gonna be coming on PS5 and Xbox Series X very soon, but meanwhile, Activision is trying to fix their Trello board. <laughs> this is what 3,000 Call of Duty devs have been up to, ladies and gentlemen. Gaming, okay? And we're also hearing rumors that Sony will be expanding their butthole, or I mean to say, gaming empire with take to interactive acquisition bubbling up and this rumor has been going around i should be having a dedicated video on this situation tomorrow so definitely hit the subscribe bell because we got a lot more news and now there are like three different sources coming out and they are saying this rumor is actually true <gasps> I'm still having a hard time believe this one. My cap meter is definitely going off right now. I want to know like what y'all think on the situation. You think it's possible? You think it's not possible? Because the last time I saw your comments, uh, some of you were saying that yeah, Sony don't even have the money, man. <laughs> and, uh, I get it. I get it where you're coming from. Some people were saying that well, this is gonna be a disaster. Others were saying that GTA 6 is gonna be PlayStation 5 exclusive. My God, that's probably not gonna happen. Even if Take Two is acquired by Sony, basically it's gonna be like a schlong measuring contest right where Activision is acquired by Xbox so they're gonna flex with Call of Duty and Phil Spencer will be like you know what like if you make GTA 6 exclusive we're gonna make Call of Duty exclusive 10 years from now and Sony if they get take two guys it's only a rumor as of right now but if they acquire this they're probably gonna be threatening the big homie Phil Spencer with that with that GTA 6 they're gonna be like we're gonna be making GTA 6 exclusive but that's likely not gonna happen for a game like GTA 6 I should be having a dedicated video on this very soon so stay tuned for that also so Counter-Strike 2 is ready and could be released in beta. The new version of CSGO will be using the Source 2 engine and will feature various improvements over the current gen. And a lot of people started shaking. People started doing like backflips on their wheelchairs out there. Everybody's out here dropping W's and people saying, I'm ready. It is time. We need CSGO Wild and CSGO Lotto 2 next. And this is by far the biggest bumble clot in the gaming history because check this out, Austrian court says that FIFA packs are gambling and order Sony to issue refunds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, I, I gotta, I gotta drop a hallelujah out here. We gotta praise uh, this homie out here. This, this Austrian lawyer apparently went crazy. He went bozo. He started pointing his fingers out here like he was uh, the, the big homie. I, I forgot his name. Yeah, I was saying like the big homie Saul Goodman. Apparently the story here is that in August of 2020, a lawsuit surfaced in an Australian court that implicated Sony in an anti-gambling case. At this time, a 17 year old Austrian gamer. I mean, shout out to this 17 year old Austrian Bruh. gamer. If you remember, there was another 17 year old hacker that actually leaked that GTA 6 gameplay, smash a like button if you remember. And we have the 17 year old uh, gamer. 
toxic gamer. Uh, they want to call him a toxic gamer, but let's be real, he's not toxic, guys. He's uh, he's putting in work. 17-year-old Austrian gamer took up arms against Sony. Sony employing a lawyer and alleging that Sony had allowed him to gamble on the PlayStation platform. And around the same time, several similar lawsuits emerged, and ultimately, a year later, it was argued that loot boxes, FIFA packs included, are illegal in Austria under the Austrian Gaming Act of 1986. Oh, Ladies shit. and gentlemen, oh, I, I, I don't know about this one, man. Am I really witnessing this? Is this really happening? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a massive W. I mean, drop a thumbs up for this one. Hit the bell even too. Just like how you want her to hit your bell, eh, hit, the, hit the bell, okay? But in 2021, when an Austrian youngster frittered away 300 pounds on FIFA points to open foot packs, my guy, if you spend 300 euros or pounds on these microtransactions, at this point, just get the F out, okay? You deserve to be robbed at this point. But then he subsequently decided he would be enticing to gambling on the popular game and further determined that it was an illegal move on the part of the, the platform provider? Wait, what? This notion was backed up by a lawyer who was then hired to assist the then 17 year old gamer who had damaging things to say he declared Ow! he declared ladies and gentlemen it better go down and i quote because video game loot boxes are created by the developers who offer them exclusively in the games the prizes are in violation of fair commerce laws as there cannot be any competition i mean say whatever but this 17 year old gamer is saving lives okay so i, I gotta give it up to him shout out to that lawyer but ladies and gentlemen this upcoming story is really wild so you remember last year in that movie awards we had the biggest slap the slap that was heard all around the globe that uh, people started memeing that shiza people started doing backflips while they were on their wheelchairs and the story was that will smith slapped chris rock live on stage and apparently chris rock came out with a vengeance roll it and his wife was <laughs> her son's friend okay what now, i normally would not talk about this shit. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that low down. What the fuck? It, we all been cheated on. Everybody in here has been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? I want to know what the stud muffins thing on the situation it looks like that the homie Chris Rock was bottling this up, okay? He bottled this up for a solid year and he just let it go. He just let it all out. I mean, uh, yeah, man, Chris Rock be going crazy. We also had Dr. Disrespect. He also let it all out by saying that in my seven years of streaming, I don't think the industry has been worse than it is right now. It's just so uninspiring. Where are the good online games at though? And that's a genuine question. And obviously we have 3000 Call of Duty devs that uh, they're adding uh, family friendly packs. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with those... <laughs> They're adding a lot of that content in that pack, guys. Uh, $20 skin, so that's the content we get nowadays. And the homie definitely sounds defeated, but thankfully we have this finals game. I showed you guys the gameplay, right? That's the only light of hope that we have right now alongside GTA 6. But when is that game coming out? Is it gonna be coming out in 80 years from now? Ladies and gentlemen, we actually have a new league. <gasps> Yes, we're gonna be getting into that in just a moment. We're also hearing that Hogwarts Legacy got delayed on PlayStation 4, Sony Pony 4s, and the Xbox, uh, Xbox One. Uh, and we're hearing that it's now gonna be coming out on May 5th, and you wanna see what people said? Let's just get right into it, okay? Because the homie said that, cancel it. Cancel it! I absolutely cannot wait to see the footage of the Switch version. Look, I need to see the footage when it runs on the Switch. 14 FPS at best. Just bin it and let those consoles die. Yo, any of you on the last gen consoles, I want to know your expertise on it. Should they cancel it? Should they not cancel it? But the, the crazy part here is that Hogwarts Legacy did do 12 million plus a week ago. Only on PS5, Xbox Series X, uh, Series S, and PC right so if this game comes out on last gen and they're saying it's still gonna be coming out they delayed it if it comes out bro this is gonna be the biggest game of this year i mean that's gonna be insane i i feel like that it's gonna be pulling some crazy numbers this year but however the homie the gaming revolution 
he came on and he reported the news, the rumor by saying that Henry Cavill is rumored to be in talks to play Captain Price in an upcoming Call of Duty movie. Oh, People shit. started rolling their fat doobies. Uh, some of the Call of Duty <laughs> suckers, they started uh, doing backflips on, on the wheelchairs. They started doing helicopters with their wheels. Everybody's shaking around the streets. But guys, everybody just simmer down, okay? Chill, just chill quick, okay? Because this is just a rumor. This is not real. Not true. <laughs> and then Jennifer came out says that the Amazon Prime Call of Duty movie is going to slay. So you got uh, Henry Cavill as Price. You also have Tom Holland. Yeah, that's right, guys. That's right. You know what? They are also making that Kratos, uh, that God of War movie or that TV show. You know what? They need an actor for Kratos. So might as well go with uh, Tom Holland. I'm saying so they can have Tom Holland as Kratos, Tom Holland as Uncharted, Tom Holland as uh, Tomb Raider as Laura. They, they they gotta have Tom Holland for everything, ladies and gentlemen. Know what I'm saying we also got Chris Pratt. I mean, Bamba Glad <laughs> and Zendia as Valeria. And when you ask them about the source, they will always tell you it was revealed to them in a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a rumor that is going around. But check this out, right? I'm also doing a hundred dollars giveaway. That's right. That's right. It's been a minute, right? It's been a minute. I, I do this monthly. You just enter once and you're entered for good. If you're interested in winning hundred dollars, check out the top pin comment below. You enter once and you're entered for good. But talking about GTA 6, I shout out to the homie Abdullah for adding me in the situation. Because apparently Test One 2 came out. I should be making a dedicated video on this very soon because there was a bunch of other stuff too but test one two is very credible in the gta community i mean that's what the the street says okay he came out he says that they're aimed always changing not set in stone current deadline is holiday 2024 which has been pushed back multiple times the past few years oh, and that kind of tells us that it, the game was supposed to come out early which uh, is something we all know right this game was supposed to happen it is overdue okay but right now he says that the, it, it's still not confirmed but behind the scenes the deadline is holiday 2024 but unfortunately it could slip into early 2025 as well and for the longest amount of time that's what we're hearing from the homie tom henderson as well he did report this news almost like three years ago at this point that gta 6 is gonna be coming out in 2020 uh, a year ago my bad that gta 6 is gonna be coming out in 2024 or 2025 and everybody assumed that it's gonna be coming out by the end of 2025 and here the homie says that by the end of 2024 or early 2025 now if this is to be believed it seems like that the game is going to be coming out early 2025 that's kind of like the max i really hope they do not push it farther than march of 2025 but click on this video on the screen because dr disrespect went bozo he just went crazy click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because stuff actually got revealed and we got a lot of great stuff in that video check these videos out guys and i will see you right there